Hello, my name is Finn Galindo. Today we're going to be looking at another Autodesk Inventor tutorial. This one to do with a tool called the Sketch Doctor. So when we are creating geometry, often we can make an error with our sketches that is hard to spot or work out what's gone wrong. And this often slows us down when we're trying to model something in CAD. So the Sketch Doctor is a really handy tool that enables us to fastly diagnose and sometimes fix that problem. In this situation, I've got here an example extrusion, which is made up from a single um, sketch profile. And this profile is a closed loop. As you can see, it's a single shape that goes the all the way around with no open surfaces. I'm going to go to an, the example of this here, where I've got another loop. Now, if I try to actually finish this sketch and then extrude it, it won't actually work very well. It's trying to do a profile because it's noticing that it's not a fully closed sketch. It's not a full loop. And having exited the sketch, it's easy to see why. This bottom right corner is open. Sometimes it's hard to see. And in many cases, your sketches are a heck of a lot more complicated than this. So to find these open points, often I use the Sketch Doctor tool. So I've right clicked here in the ether, selected Sketch Doctor, selected Diagnose, and if I'm not sure what's wrong with my sketch, I'll have all of these options ticked. Currently, I know it's an open loop, so I could just have only that one ticked. I've gone OK, and it has found the problems. Under our sketch here, there's an open loop. Clicking Next, it's highlighted the problem. You can see here, in the bottom right corner, as we know, there are a small gap. So this is where our open area is and it's highlighted with green dots. Sometimes it's really hard to see, sometimes you need to have a little bit of a look for those. Now, often you can just select close loop and it will let you close it. In this situation it wouldn't. So all I'm going to do now is go extend, extend that loop, and now it's finished. And if I ran the sketch doctor again, it would say there's no issues. I can just double check this, of course, by extruding it, and it's saying that's all okay to do. And that's how you can use the Sketch Doctor to identify where there are problems with your sketches. It's a really handy and useful tool. Thanks for listening.